Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking all about nude pumps. I'm actually in the market for a nude pair of pumps, some new ones, and I really wanted to see, should I actually spend the money and splurge or can I just get a good pair around $100 or even less and do they even compare to one another? And I feel so pretty today and festive because I'm wearing one of my favorite little black dresses from the video I just did, you guys saw it and you all loved it as well. This is the BB Dakota. I just think it's so pretty. This is the hot Tinkerbell dress. <laughs> all right, let's jump in into the shoes. I'm gonna start off with the pair that I have had my eye on for a while. These are the Jimmy Choo's, the Romy or the Rami 100 millimeter. That's the heel height. And I got them in a size 37 because they fit me beautifully and they fit me like a glove. And I paid $5, $5. and I paid $595 without tax. Let's talk about how they fit and feel on the feet. So like I said, I got a size 37, which is a US size seven in women's and they fit, I think, true to size, nothing is cramped, everything just fits right as it should. I think this little part right here where they cut and made the shoe is actually very comfortable on the foot. And then the actual pointy toe, none of my toes feel squashed or cramped as some of the other shoes just because it has a good size for a pointy toe shoe in my opinion. And going up towards the back of the foot around the heel, this little leather portion inside the shoe is so soft and I like that it's snug and it's not too tight but it's not too wide where when you walk it doesn't slide up and down the back of your foot causing those blisters so honestly I think they are very true to size because my foot fits like a glove in these shoes. I can see why people rave about this shoe and give really good ratings, just because it is a very well made shoe. So let's talk about the look of this shoe. Obviously, all of these nude pumps are beautiful, they're sexy, they're timeless, they're elegant, and they look good on pretty much everyone out there just because they're such a beautiful shoe. So my favorite part about this shoe is the pointy toe. It's not extremely sharp. It kind of has a rounded toe, which I love. I love that it's not extremely sharp. And then the heel is stunning. It's very thin. I love it. I think it looks amazing. But the best part is it's actually very, very comfortable. These shoes are made out of 100% leather. Pretty much the entire shoe is leather. And I think the construction of the shoe is impeccable. There's no glue visible. It's just very smooth everywhere that I look. I just think overall, this is a beautiful, beautiful statement shoe that every girl should have. Maybe not this particular brand, but like a nude pump, I think every girl should have because they're just a stunning pair of shoes. Moving on to the second most expensive pair, I got the Sam Edelman's, and this is in the shade Hazel or Classic Nude, and I got them in a size seven or 37, and how much did I pay for these? I think they were $120 from Nordstrom. So I'm gonna keep the Jimmy Choo's on my left foot and then put every other shoe on my right just so we can see the foot to foot comparison between each nude pump. Let's talk about the fit and feel of Sam Edelman's shoes. I also got a size 37 because that's what fit me beautifully in the store. And my toes are not squashed. They fit beautiful in the front. This little portion right here, what would you call it? the little arch of the foot? They also feel very comfortable, but the Jimmy Choo's feel a lot more comforting as I walk. They're not sliding everywhere for this shoe. It's a little bit more wide. So there's a little bit more movement in the foot. Maybe you like that, maybe you don't. But for me, I like when my foot is a little bit more snug in the shoe. That way my foot is not gonna ride all up and down. So going up to the back, of the heel or the top of the heel. It's also very nice and snug and very soft in the inside. They do go up a little bit higher than the Jimmy Choo, so I feel that over time you might get blisters as you wear them in, but I don't think honestly that bad because they feel very comfortable and they don't ride up as high as some other pumps that I have tried on. They go up a little bit too high and they hit just in that little area where you do get blisters. So these shoes are very, very, very comfortable. Let's talk about the look of the shoe. I think obviously they're stunning. The toe of the shoe is a lot more sharper than the Jimmy Choo, so it has like that really sharp pointy toe, but I think that's stunning. And then the heel, I prefer the Jimmy Choo heel just because it's a little bit slimmer and I think it's a little bit more sexier, but this heel is stunning. It's a very comfortable. So these shoes are made out of leather, synthetic or textile upper, synthetic lining, and leather sole. So it's a mixture of things. 
So overall, the construction of this shoe is very good, but for $120, I did not expect to see so much glue. And some of the folding is very poorly constructed, especially like around right here, around the pointy toe portion. You can literally see where they folded it incorrectly. It just does not look good. But the sole seems really good. I like that it's a leather sole, so it's gonna last for a while. And then the rest of the shoe, I think it's stunning. I think for... $120, this is a really great dupe and you'll get a lot of great wear out of this and it was rated very well online So a lot of people love this shoe next shoe is by the brand Steve Madden and I got this in their shoe Daisy And this is their nude pointy pumps and they retail for $89.95 the fit and feel for the Steve Madden pumps is very different once you put them on and you compare them to the Jimmy Choo's or even the Sam Edelman's. The way they have them cut, you have a little bit more closure around your big toe and your other toes. And then once you get around to your smaller toes, I call it the pinky toe, that's where it gets pretty much really uncomfortable because when you walk, my little toe starts popping out so I have to kind of like pop it back in. And then when you reach up right here around the little arch and you go higher, the way they have a cut, it's a little bit longer. So it kind of cuts into my ankle or my ankle bone. You guys can see that it's very uncomfortable. It's a little bit too high up for my foot. But the best part is they do have a little cushion. So it's really soft. So the look of the shoe is very gorgeous. I love the color. I think it's a really pretty pinkish nude. And then the pointy toe is very sharp compared to the Jimmy Choo, which I know some people prefer. But the only thing what really is turning me off from this shoe is the way my foot looks. My toe cleavage is way too exposed. My little toes are not supported. So it's making my foot look wider than it actually really is. I do love love the heel. I think the heel is stunning. It's very slim, it's sexy, and I think it's gorgeous. The rest of the shoe is very classic, and I think it's a gorgeous pair of shoes. The construction of the shoe is as leather, suede, or man-made upper. So it's either a leather or a man-made upper. And then it's a man-made or leather lining, and then a man-made sole but the overall construction is very poorly made. It looks very cheap just because when you start looking, the glue line is completely visible. You have stitching and then the way the heel is folded, it's not cohesive with the other shoe. It looks very cheap, very cheap. The next pair of heels are from the brand Mix Number no. 6. I purchased these from DSW. They were $39.99 and this is their style Dignity in the shade beige. And I got a size seven because that's what fit me. The fit and feel of these shoes is actually very, very comfortable. They fit very nicely, nice and snug. They have the toe cleavage evenly distributed from the big toe to the little toes and it's just, they're perfectly nice and snug and I feel they have a good closure to them where my foot is not going to just pop out of nowhere. And then once you reach the arch of the foot, it's actually very good. It feels really nice. It's also, it's not going too high up. And then the back of the foot, it's also really nice and snug. However, the inside, I don't believe this is real leather. So it's not as soft. So it's a little bit scratchy compared to the Jimmy Choo's. But overall, I am actually very impressed with the fit and feel of these shoes. So much better than the Steve Madden's. So the sizing of the shoe, I think it's a little bit more wider than the Jimmy Choo's just because when I step, there is a little bit more room around my toes and then around the arch of my foot. So I think if you have a very wide foot, you might actually find the shoe very comfortable. But for me, there's a little bit too much room, but honestly, my foot is not sliding anywhere. So I think that's really good. The look of these shoes, I think is very stunning. I love the blush nude patent look of these heels. And then the beautiful, sharp, pointy toe. It's not as sharp as the other previous pairs, but I think it's a beautiful pointy toe. And then going up towards the back of the heel, it's a nice straight line. And then the back of the heel, it's very stunning. And then the actual heel is a beautiful thin heel as well. Overall for $39, the look of the shoe is stunning. So this shoe is constructed with a patent full leather upper and a synthetic sole. So that's why you, I can automatically feel that it's not as soft. It's very tough. It doesn't move, it doesn't really mold to your foot. So looking at the overall quality and construction of the shoe, the glue line is extremely visible. It's kind of already falling apart in certain areas. 
and then just the stitching it looks very poorly made heel meeting the actual shoe is a little jaggedy it's actually a little bit wavy it's not straight so overall i mean you can see why these shoes are not a hundred dollars they're 39 dollars and 99 cents for that i'm very happy with so here we have the last pair of shoes. This is by the brand Daily Shoe San Francisco. Style is Paris, and this is their nude color, and I got a size seven. And I paid $28.99 from Amazon. All right, let's talk about the last pair of shoes. There's a reason why they're so cheap. They fit very inconsistent. They fit very wide and big but I could not be able to go down half a size just because my little toe and my big toe are already at their capacity. They're very squashed, but then the rest of my foot feels like it's just gonna go flying and flopping everywhere. Yeah, overall, they don't fit very well. There's no support and I will get blisters just because my foot is not secure. The look of this shoe looks very cheap and I'm not surprised given the price. This looks plastic. It looks like something for a Barbie. It does not look good. And then literally the heel is crooked, like the little tiny portion of the heel where you step it's literally crooked. But honestly, if I look down at my foot, it actually doesn't look half bad. I don't mind it at all. The construction of the shoe is synthetic, it doesn't say what, and then it has rubber sole, which no, it literally feels like plastic. Do you guys hear that? That's plastic. That does not feel like rubber at all. So the overall construction of this shoe, like I said, looks very cheap. Nothing lines up, everything just kind of it is what it is. My heel came extremely scuffed, which is not cool because who wants a brand new shoe with a heel scuffed? Nobody. Even if you are paying $28, you expect a brand new heel or brand new shoe. You can see the glue line and then the heels don't even line up. So I mean, what are you gonna expect? That means there's literally no quality control in the shoes. All right, there we have it. So overall, I think I found two dupes that I am obsessed with. Sam Edelman, I think they did an amazing, phenomenal job. And then the ones from DSW, the mix number six, for the patent version, I am very, very impressed. They're very comfortable. The whole look and design of the shoe was stunning compared to the Jimmy Choo's. And obviously, Jimmy Choo's because they were on my wish list for the longest time ever and I love them. I think they're a beautiful pair of shoes and I can see why so many women have multiple colors and design of Jimmy Choo's. They're extremely comfortable, they look stunning, and they last a very long time because the quality is immaculate. To me, this was a very educational video to do just because you could see the differences firsthand. I could see and I could feel. So I think that was really great just to compare so many different types of shoes in different price ranges. I hope you guys also enjoyed this video, found it enjoyable, entertaining, and also educational at the same time. Let me know how much you guys spend on your shoes. Do you like to splurge or invest in your shoes? Or do you like to you know, get as many colors and as styles as possible? And let me know why. But for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.